<laughs> Welcome back to Sherlock Holmes The Awakened. So last time, uh we found the Lovecraftian elements. The first one and most of chapter two were basically just normal Sherlock Holmes type gameplay. Then uh a yeah, uh, Holmes went on a mind trip, got a five o'clock shadow, so he's definitely going through things, and now we're playing as Watson, going through the Institute in Switzerland. Let's go. Salutations, madam. I am Dr. John Watson. I was wondering if you've got word of my visit. Yeah, Dr. Watson. Yeah. We received your letter on the matter. Would it be to see Professor Gygax? That is correct. At their earliest convenience, yes. I shall try not to take up too much of their valuable time. Wait here, bitte. Mr. and Mrs. Bronson, your girl has made remarkable progress. See? Take a look for yourself. <sighs> My apologies for keeping you waiting, Dr. Watson. Surely you understand how medical work can make one lose track of time. Do not be sorry, Professor. I, too, know the importance of closely attending to patients. The work hardly stops here, yet the satisfaction of perfecting the mind compels us to persevere. I take it you welcome many a soul into your establishment? Admissions, yes. Visitors, though? I am curious as to what brought you to the Schwarzes Edelweiss. Word of mouth. An article I read back in London spoke highly of your institution. But rather than taking its word for it, I thought I would see things for myself. My asylum's reputation proceeds it then. Everyone, your attention, please. Guten day. Yes. Hi. Hello. The name's Amos Colby, Northwood Detective Agency, Boston. I got questions that that's need Holmes. answers. I think Who's that's in charge here? What seems to be the matter, Dr. Watson? You can tell me. By Jove. It cannot be him. Um. Uh, <clears throat> right. Yes. I was surprised because that man is a, a, a celebrity. Yes, that's it. Very famous, Mr. Colby. I couldn't believe my eyes. No, 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 no. In my line of work, it can't wait. The longer it takes if you to get wish to, the to recuperate, truth, Dr. Watson, you may avail yourself of the guest room. But I have so much more to discuss. Nurse, if you'd be so kind as to escort Dr. Watson to the guest room. Herr Colby, from Northwood Agency. How unexpected. I am Professor Gygax. I would be happy to answer your questions. In the exam. Mr. Holmes. Look, professor, unless you got any clues as to the whereabouts of. Ah! 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 There is no need to be eloquent. No one gets me. Oh, okay. Lady is suspicious. I mean, I guess there's something on this place immediately. Oh. Now, now, let's not resort to brute force. Do not worry, Herr Colby. My methods are rather more delicate. Oh, shock treatment. Oh, that's no, never mind. Oh, that's a needle. That's bad time. Search him thoroughly. Then take him to the holding chamber. Need to decide precisely what to do with our guest. Okay, Holmes just got captured and Watson is somewhere. Oh. Uh, Alright. Yeah, you can't change clothes here, so that makes sense. Okay. Uh, the unmistakable scent of alcoholism. Did you walk through their doors as I did, or did they collect you off the street? Uh, I don't know. Oh, wait, I can pick the lock. Okay, so real quick, out. All right, all the way to the left, up one. 
this one three times two two this is just a test damn okay oh uh, that's really good actually uh one one in the middle each boop and boom i like how different this lock game is compared to everyone trying to copy skyrims it's a breath of fresh air when there is a decent lock pick lock picking minigame because a lot of games Sunshine, oh, not the typical tool for a nurse no a lot of games when they try to make their own lock, pick, lock picking game do it horribly i'm looking at you kingdom come deliverance though i'd still need to beat that game i played for uh only a couple hours but man that's a good game or everyone copy skyrim because it revolutionized lock picking this game it's lock picking minigame game is fine it's not bad it is different it's easy to comprehend so it's fine block a apothecary all right where are all the people oh we got stuff all right let's go any chemist would envy the quality of this equipment i mean i'm not a chemist so i wouldn't know but it looks like something you make mood shine out of Raw materials used to formulate medicine. Mmm. Opium, probably. The final product, ready to cure madness, or to push one deeper into its grasp. Morphine With this equipment, and they can create any type of medication. Interesting. What's this? Oh. Very sturdy. I might borrow it. Got some syringes. Frog. Fourth little frog. Frogs can't wash up. And I surely can. This is a difference between a frog and a man. Fourth little frog was dirty and rotten. What if I put the frog in water? Luzzy Dundrip. Drip. Drop. Swims in a bath. Laundry becomes the end of her path. Fourth little frog dies. In the walls of Black Elderwise. It sounds sinister, even for a place like this. I wonder if there are more frogs in the pond. Oh, that's actually a case here. Also, uh, block a patience. Uh, L... Lois K... Oh, jeez. So I might be... Uh, I might speak English, but there are certain things. I'm gonna try. Dermat... Okay. Dermatillomania. Dermatillomania. Commentary. Nail trimming every day. Do not untie her hands even if she won't stop screaming. Patient Marizo H. Diagnosis mania. Dissociation. Commentary. After the incident, the nurses prescribed therapeutic fasting for a week. Mention Josephine to make him more manageable. Mariana W. Hysteria. Keep raising the dosage until she forgets the child. Oh miscarriage patient niles j nervous breakdown do not allow any visits any letters sent to the patients must be destroyed poor little frog is dirty and off i put the frog what was that is someone there no doctors there's no one there not one there at all Holmes Wrinkler. Haynes Wrinkler. Lionel Rich. I want to say Lionel Richie. <laughs> you there? Oh. I command you to free me at once. I'm not sure that's a great idea at the moment. How dare you deny me? I must have my revenge against the Lickspittles upstairs. Lickspittles? Unfortunately for you, I'm here to stop the very same people. You are? Indeed. But first, I must discover all I can about this institution. Tell me, have you witnessed the arrival of any foreign patients? Tell me? The goal? The impertinence to bark such orders? Please, we don't have time for this. Do you know with whom you speak? I am the great Napoleon. Oh. Huh. Napoleon Bonaparte? The one and only. Emperor of the French, first consul of the Republic, leader of La Grande Armée. 
Once I am free and have exacted my mm -hmm. revenge against the guards who ridicule me, I shall rest happy in the arms of my beloved Josephine. Right. Well, I will leave you to your scheming, Emperor. Okay. He's the one that they said to cooperate mentioned Josephine. My heart is pierced by Cupid. I disdain all glittering gold. There is nothing can console me but my jolly sailor boat. Felicia Hung. Was she one of them? Felicia Hung, Hung, Hung. No? I'm shocked there's not more people here. Man, this era makes me feel like I'm playing Song of Horror. I've probably said that once already. Oh, yeah, Matt. There's the guest room. I wonder if Watson was able to speak to Gygax. Kind of. You kind of cut it off. Oh wait, we got something. Schw Sh Sh Schwarzberg. This sedative worked faster than I expected. Perhaps I ought to train myself, build up a tolerance. Oh, we got bottle sedative and needle. We're gonna knock someone out. Locked. I suppose the reception will be guarded anyway. Darn. No way I can get past him without being noticed. Hmm. I can think of a couple ways to... There. If I pin that, what happens? No, okay. It's like, do I switch back to Watson? Bronx can't wash. I don't know. Hey. Anything in the locker? No. I do have an idea. Can I free him? No. I command you to let me out. I'm not allowed to let you out. Yeah, she's a bit crazy. I'm sure I heard something. Who's there? Show yourself. Hey, what are you doing? Ah, okay. Uh, I was seeing if I could sneak up behind him and knock him out. You cannot. Okay. Hans Linkula. I already looked at everything there. Or little frogs. Wash up. Um, oh, nope, okay. I don't have everything yet. I command you to let me out. I'm a little tired right now, which sucks. Roll of fogs for dirty and rotten. All 
All right, time for our favorite thing. Rub against everything and see what I can do. Hey, alcoholic. The unmistakable scent of alcoholism. Did you walk through their doors as I did, or did they collect you off the streets? No way I can get past him without being noticed. Well, Napoleon Bonaparte is willing to take him out. I'd rather not sit in this chair ever again. My comrades in Paris shall hear about this. What do you mean? <laughs> um. Well. All right, we're gonna do this for now. I'm sure I heard something. No, you heard nothing. It's just a person wandering around trying to find out where to go. I need to start cutting out the sections where I'm just wandering in this. I think I think I start. Don't you look down on me. Open the door. They haven't yet made a bullet that can hit me. Uh guess that's true. No way I can get past him without being noticed. Hmm. Oh, Mackle bag. Oh, no. Nope. Ah. I'm missing one piece of evidence. <clears throat> There's the guest room. I wonder if Watson was able to speak to Gygax. Yes and no. Yes and no. AX on everything. Mm. Who's there? Show yourself. Hey, what are you doing? Damn. I was seeing if I can get the locker. You cannot. You cannot. You would like the yawning so much. It's a bit late, but I don't have work tomorrow and I really wanted to play something. It'll hopefully go away, and if not, well, I'm just a bit yawning. Don't you look down on me. Open the door. Open the door when you are on your friend, brother. Oh, now I can pick the lock. Alright, real quick. Out. Up. 
Okay, almost. That one needs to go up one more. No. All right, now we need um that one to go up the most and that one. So we'll do that now. All right. Nope. Like that. Oh, so close. There we go. Man, I'm getting good at the lock picking. All right. A certificate of appreciation from the municipal councillor to Professor Becker for contributions to the development of medicine in Interlaken. Hmm. Look at the bird. Is that blood? A simple toolbox, yet capable of repairing anything. Hmm. Furnace. Cooking grease. Is this the kitchen dumbwaiter? Maybe. Looks like it's still operational. Okay. Oh, wait. I can make up the names listed here. I can make up. This photo was damaged seemingly by oil. Oh, yeah, we got more evidence. And we got royal garment. Nice. John. Oh, frogs cannot kill, but I surely can. That's the difference between a frog and a man. Fifth little frog was foolish at large. He forgot about the rules who was in charge. Timothy Carm... Carmilly lies dead in Block B. I swapped out his pills for something nasty. Fifth little frog dies in the walls of Black Edelweiss. Sallow, the Tulpa phenomenon. I'm somewhat of an expert already. John Sallow, the Tulpa phenomenon. I'm somewhat of an expert. Oh, I got an achievement for that. Hill, Dr. Connolly, it appears that all the psychiatric classics were banished here. All right, what do we have? Open letter. Professor Gygax, I've suffered serious chemical burns upon my hand, the consequence of your inexcusable actions. My session with Gerda ended before it even began. Poor thing was so terrified she refused to talk and started to destroy everything in the room rather than let me approach her. What did you do to Gerda? What you did to Gerda will not and cannot happen again. Let me know that I consider your methods a barbaric malpractice. If you're so, if you so boldly claim, you wish to be more to the future. Oh, you wish to be the future of my facility. You must embody my high standards. Do not disappoint me again, Professor Becker, Director of Black Edelweiss. Tubes of varying diameters. Interesting. Metal tubes. R.G. Hill, Dr. Connolly, it appears that all the psychiatric classics were banished here. All right, I think that's it for this room. Does that mean I have enough evidence to do this? Syringes and metal tubes. Oh, we're gonna make a a blow dart. Yeah, a blowpipe. It could be possible to sedate the guard from a distance using a handmade blowpipe. Perhaps one of the tubes from the storage room could suit. Wait. Hmm. This should suffice. All right. Okay, I think I'm good. The blow pipe, okay, it's not ready to be used. I need to go to block B to get my next frog. So let's go. Done. 
No way I can get past Ooh, him without being I noticed. Have to, okay, the scientist. It's a scientist, not a guard game. Come on. I'm sure I heard something. Who's there? Is it all I'm actually going to use, or am I screwed? Hey, what are you doing? They haven't yet made a bullet that can hit me. Uh huh. The problem is I made the blowpipe. I'm sure I have. Um, how do I use the blowpipe? I don't know. That is the person who wants me to shoot, right? Darn. No way I can get past him without being noticed. Hmm. Damn, let's knock that down. Maybe there's a hole in the wall? Got the blowpipe. Um. Who's there? Show yourself. Um. How are am I supposed to date him? the sedatives i have the needle i got the metal pipe the problem is he won't spit into it interesting ah should go off to sleep let's see my bad i thought my game was bugged hands up you press the interact button More mice. Frogs can I think? I sure I and I surely can. That is the difference between a frog and a man. First little frog was my very first try. Her dumb little head is needed to pry. Hannah Pollard, near the hole in the wall, wanders. There her head with a brick encounters. First little frog dies in the house in the walls of black edelwise. This should be enough to avoid unwanted attention, at least from a distance. No, he got rid of his sideburns. How dare you, good sir. You look better with them. Oh, wait. Oh, there's more in there. Manufactured and packaged here. This is the same narcotic substance that we found in London. Oh, wait, what's that? Herr Schnitzer, Schnitzer, 
I hasten to assure you that your son is in good hands and that his unexpected development of the psycholab of of a psychological disorder can be remedied at our facility. I'm sure you're concerned about your son's well-being, as am I. I am confident our combined efforts will lead to a speedy recovery. The housing of our pharmaceuticals in your warehouse is an important part of this process. If you succeed at drawing officials' attention away from this precious cargo, there will be nothing to stop me from returning your son to you safe and sound and free of this unfortunate illness. Since yours sincerely, Professor Gygax. Is she holding the, his son ransom? Oh, I'll cure him. Mm hmm. lips from your skull with my fingernails miss I I'll gouge your eyes out and cut off your hands just like you did to Heidi I am quite certain you would but I'm afraid you have me mistaken for someone else so I take it your name is Gerda who is Heidi you talk strange you're going to hell's door aren't you to where those other funny talkers finally shut up hell's door to what do you refer only Heidi had answers Go away, pig! I merely- I said go, or you will spend your last moments on Earth screaming. This door won't stop me. <laughs> door stopping you, clearly. You're not coming out to get me. Wait, wait, wait. I'm going places I don't think I want to go yet. That's clearly progression. Let's go back where I came from. <laughs> They're all doing their thing. And it leads back over here. All right. Well, for one, look for the hole in the wall. I can get the other... Garments of several dozen people at least. Oh. Fabric burnt in the furnace. And then. A jalabir. A traditional garment from Northern Africa. He's here. Come here, Mia. Come here, hi. Come here. Oh. Hello. Well, you're disturbing, aren't you? So you're, Heidi. I didn't realize I was on haunted doll watch. I'm just gonna... Oh! You got Heidi. I don't want to go too far. Oh! Scribbled in Georgian. Alright, we got something. Alright. Envelope. N4. Age, young adult, sex male, nationality, Dutch. Diagnosis, a weak-minded subject, eager to follow orders for perceived awards, rewards. Strong build, dosed with 0 0.04 milligrams. Male, Romanian, the subject remained violent, requiring the need for traditional sedatives. Once calm, the dosage for the subject was minimal. 0.2. Um, young adult, male, a new language incomprehensible subject is thus in assumed mad subject possesses a lighter more agile frame as such a smaller dosage was required young adult male more 
Moroi, uh, incomprehensible, assume mad. All subjects in good condition show signs of obedience regardless of race or native language. They must be moved on further testing for further testing. And once again, sedative, the drug. So this is how they kept the prisoners docile and harmless. Oh, we have something. Something sticking out. Oh. An orthodox reliquary commonly found in Eastern Europe, now in a cell halfway up the Alps. Yeah. Okay. Do it. Um, you know what? Maybe. Oh, wait, over here. And go. Oh, wait, we got blood. Hit from above. Okay. Yeah, okay. That's not what will happen next. That sounds about right. This stretcher was disinfected frequently. All right, now let's see what this is. No, it has to be the one where he hits his head. Yeah. We're gonna leave it at that for now. Not much here other than that. Oh. All right, first things first, we'll do this. Scratches broken nails. People were in there. A bottle this dirty doesn't break by accident. A lot of blood. Substantial blood loss. One poor soul found another way out. Probably a better way out. Oh. Oh, here we go. Next. No, it's there's more to it than that. A lot more. I see you. That's right. I see the medallion. The medallion that the brother had. This is the same design as the one mm -hmm. from London. Then the bar is a broken. I doubt that one could survive such a journey with this little water. Dirt and sweat. They were locked in here for days, judging by the smell. Oh. The kidnappers even provided airflow. How generous. This trip was prolonged and perilous. Oh. I know what this guy, yeah, I know what happened. A little hole in the bottom so they could breathe. They gave them each a bottle to drink water. This guy smashed that bottle and used it to get out. In a sense. Yeah, so that's not what happened. Absolutely not. Yeah, no, he's just dead. This guy's getting out. All right. I accept that. Yeah, no, he killed himself on the way there. He smashed that bottle and just... The stamp on this crate confirms it came from America. That's quite a distance to travel. Ooh, New Orleans. I heard they have great food. The stamp on oh. this crate confirms it came from America. That's quite a distance to travel. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Okay, don't need to do that again. The doors can be open for deliveries. Oh, I can go up here. Well, that's... Intriguing. Oh, hey, I found it. I didn't. Okay. Uh, frogs cannot choose. I surely can. That's the difference between a frog and a man. Second little frog gave up to his fate, which I chose for her and served on a plate. Abigail Emerzeal, bleeding almost full tank, 
Near the examin examination room, she lies with a shank. The second little frog dies in the black Eldewise. Was that her? Oh, wait, 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 wait. We have everything. Okay. Oh, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, over here. Okay, what's next? No, absolutely not. All right, before I validate, I'm going to finish up the, um, uh, frogs if I can. Fourth little frog. I have the second, the first, the fifth, and the fourth. I'm missing the third, the third little frog. Where is the third little frog? Frog can walk, all right, it'll probably be after the second. Yeah, so one, oh, yeah, one, two, don't see three, there's four, but there's five. So I need, Near the examination room, she lies with a shank. I need to find the examination room. No, go away. Restricted area. I will make them pay for what they did to Heidi. Yeah, I find Heidi. I believe I have found your friend. Heidi! Oh, poor girl. What did they do to you? Shh. It's all right now. Everything will be all right. Please, Gerda, now I have found Heidi, I need some help from you in return. Shh, Heidi. You should thank the man, don't you think? Um... I hear screaming in the background. How did you end up in Block B? The nurses say I'm prone to violent outbursts, but they're wrong. I just do what Heidi tells me. Uh-huh. Have you ever met Professor Becker? I remember him. He was in charge here before that witch Gygax. But I haven't heard his voice for a oh, long time. Oh, he was off. He was nice. Tell me all you know about those funny-talking people. We'd hear their screams. The guards would take them down the corridor behind you and they'd disappear. And the screams would stop. Professor Gygax seems to rule this facility with an iron fist. Do you know anything about her? She's sick. She did nasty things to us. Separated me and Heidi just for fun. Before she got here, this place was alright. I shall leave you two to get reacquainted. Okay, yeah, uh, the lady 100% killed the original director of this place because he even warned her, don't do it again. Oh, she took batters in her own hand. Okay, so we're looking for the third frog. I need to find the examination room, maybe? That's my only guess right now is the examination room. Restricted. Would the restricted be with? Nah. -uh. Let's go back. Apothecary. That's storage. Killer was limping, but Abigail couldn't escape. Oh, wait, what? Oh, the second little frog. 
there's actually a story? Oh. Oh, that's very interesting, actually. Fifth first. All right, let's try first little frog. We just saw Abigail. First little frog was the very first to try. Her dumb little head is needed the pry. Hannah Pollard near the hole in the wall wanders. There her head with the brick encounters. I'm curious. Is it just smoky in here? Yeah. Very interesting. I didn't think this was going to lead to anything using these, but apparently they give you a little more story context about these people. All right. Yep. The murderer used his left hand to kill Hannah with a brick. Uh, ooh, doing this actually increases my profile. We're doing all of them. Okay. So we did the first, we did the second. Let's do the fifth. Block B swapped out his pels for something nasty. Oh, wait. Bitter almond smell and M oh. The killer swapped Timothy's pills for cyanide. The faint almond scent is unmistakable. I love almonds, but not that much. Okay, yeah, we're getting went. We're getting stuff. Uh, second little frog. Oh, already did that one. A uh, first little frog. We already did that. Fifth little frog, and now fourth. Uh. Fourth little frog was dirty and rotten. What if I put the frog in water? A bath. Oh, there was one area with the bath. Nope, 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 nope. I remember the area with the bath. Yeah. The killer was strong enough and the bathtub deep enough to drown poor Lucy. We need to find the other frog. I don't know where it is though. Oh, wait. Oh, here it is. Frogs can dream. I surely can. That is the difference between a frog and a man. A frog's dreaming is, is seedless. There is nothing to reap. So I woke the third frog from his meaningless sleep. A man counts sheep and petter to check it as seen zero and holding chamber lies smothered by pillow through the floor we're doing it right now in the holding chamber what's the holding chamber? i need to find the holding chamber we're doing this Holding chamber, holding chamber. Hold. No, it's reception. So it might be down, more down below. Yeah, cause that's storage. Those are cells, apothecary. All right. Wait, is this a holding chamber? No. All right, well, we'll do this. Wait. feel like if I do that, I'm done with him, though. What else is there for him to do? 
The holding chamber lies by a smothered pillow. No, I already did that. I'm sorry if I'm a bit paranoid, but I feel like when I validate, it's gonna end this. And I want to find this and do it. So, find the holding chamber. That's laundry, which is very depressing. Holding chamber. <laughs> Do it too. All right, this is not the holding chamber. If I can't find it after this run around, I will just continue. Hey, Napoleon. I know this is storage, but you never know. Okay. And a reception. Alright. We will continue now. Like I said, I was gonna give it a once around. Don't see it. I'm gonna go. Wait. Petter gouged at the wall, fighting for his life. Odds are he left scars on the killer too. Well, it's clear that it was a multiple murderer. I'll send the profile to the police after we finish here. The subject feels superior to other humans and asserts himself as an ex at, uh, feel, asserts himself as the expense of his victims. He calls them little frogs, likely seeing himself as a kind of scientist who prepares his subjects. Odds are he is meticulous, taking a long time to plan and prepare for each murder. Judging by the location of the crime scenes, the killer is or was an employee of Black Elderwise. He killed five people. Disgusting. I don't think I need that. Okay, we did it. The holding chambers is what I was in. Okay, I was about to pass it and give up. See, that's why I wanted to do it one more time. Because I got a feeling once I validate what I'm thinking right now, I might go back to Watson. Because Watson is here. We gotta remember that. And I don't know if I'm done with Holmes after this. All right, let's do it. Validate. The carriages were backed through these doors, and they began to unload their cargo in secret. Next, the crates were opened, freeing their passengers. Not everyone survived the journey. Dirty, exhausted, and dehydrated prisoners were then herded into cells. But all the cells are now empty, and I have not located a morgue. Time to find Hell's door. Yeah. Okay, so it didn't end immediately. That's good. Hell's door. The foreigners must have been taken through a hidden door after some preparation in the cells. This passage must lie somewhere near the back entrance. So here. Wait. that no oh oh yeah that's kind of uh no it's welded shut it cannot be Scratches? Scratches. Something has been moved through here. Ah! There seems to be a locking mechanism. The whole thing must be a door. Give me a second. How to get the key to Helm's door? Oh, don't need that. <laughs> Oh, 
right. We need one green, which is going to be... Girder. Oh, okay, yeah, I'm not really paying attention, aren't I? I am not. How do you get the key? Oh, wait. Maybe he knocks out the guard? Watson. Working dumbwaiter, Watson. And, um... Heidi. Not Heidi. Um, letter. Old photograph. I'm just gonna keep trying. Medical evaluations. Block a patients. Damn! I thought I would have had it. Nope. Watson successful infiltration in a working dumbway. But nothing else works with that. Hmm. I like how I knew the walk up here because I'm like, that looks like a ram. And yeah, it gave me a frog. I feel like I have everything I need for this. And yet I don't. No. What am I missing? I'm missing something in the green area. Yeah. Hmm. We have the secret, but I need more. I just need a bit more. I found Hell's door, the one that made the foreigners silent, remember? How do I open it? Gerda, please, I cannot get inside. You have to tell me how to open it. How can you speak to me like nothing's wrong? Can't you hear? Heidi crying? Look at her! Look! She's suffering. I can't even hear my thoughts over her screams. Poor, poor Heidi. We will fix you. I promise. We will fix you! Leave it with me, Gerda. It's a bit crazy. Ah, okay. Oh. Oh, I'm I'm about to find those. Okay. Uh she needs two buttons, thread, glue, nails. Okay. Move to the laundry place or else get buttons. A long thread. A loose button. Alright, that's two things. Now we need glue and nails. And it looks like this place might have glue and nails. No, the toolbox will have nails. The question is where will I find the glue? Okay, I have the idea where to get 
everything other than the glue. I don't know where to get the glue. Unless that's also where I'm going. Nothing, nothing. The storage room where there's a toolbox with nails and glue. Yay. Oh man, I'm glad I put that together real quickly. Buttons and all that laundry. Nails, storage room where that toolbox was. The glue didn't hit me. I thought, I'm like, where am I getting the glue from though? Heidi. Will this help fix your friend? Give it to me. Oh wait, 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 How wait. How is she feeling? Everything will be all right, Heidi. Everything. Goethe, I have a couple of questions. Yes, I... Dirty little mouth, Goethe. You've said enough already. Uh, she uh... won't speak no more. Now it's only Heidi. You helped me, and I didn't cut out your eyes. So we're even. Now go! Heidi, there are things I need some clarity on. Ask if you dare, but if I get bored, there will be consequences. Um. <laughs> um. Okay. Um. Heidi. Ask. I found Hell's Door, but it's locked. Is there a way to get in? Hell's Door? Never heard of it. Definite. Oh, wait. Heidi told me about Hell's Door. But she. That doesn't mention anything about Hell's Door. That's not ah. true. You, Gerda, told me that Hell's Door makes people silent forever. And you believe that snotty little girl? I'll personally ensure that she never dares to speak again! You know, I'm disturbed now. Was not expecting that. No, not that one. I hasten to... Uh, no. Uh... Why does Heidi keep everything a secret? Professor Gygax hurt you repeatedly, scarred your body and mind. You are not protecting Hell's door. You are simply afraid of the consequences were I to enter. I could tap your teeth out with a hammer until you choked on the blood in bits. You could. But then you would live the rest of your life in fear of Professor Gygax. I can make that feeling go away. How? I can stop her. But the key, Heidi, the key to Hell's door is critical to stopping Professor Gygax. And I think you know where it is. Tell him! But you said... And now I say tell him! The Professor, she has a special key. Keeps it close and only brings it down when you people go through. Behind those closed doors, those people start to sing. Oh, they sing in so much pain. Gygax, of course. Thank you, Gerda. Heidi, I must leave. Leave? <laughs> you joke. Nobody leaves the Edelweiss. Now you will be with us forever! Uh, they're gone. Oh, never mind, they're back there. Okay, what the fuck was that? Um, I love how Holmes is not talking about how there was a doll talking to him. Unless she's very good at vin she's a ventriloquist. No idea. Okay, I uh, think we know. Watson could find it and send it then. Watson must be the get in the guest room that is beside Gygax's office. Perhaps he could acquire the key and use the kitchen dumbware delivered down in the storage room. How to get Watson's help? 
while working dumbwaiter patient hates guards no but patient hates guards is there patient hates guards and oh finally the patient who claims to be napoleon bonaparte could help bringing him could create enough of a distraction to find and contact watson in the ground floor all right we're getting somewhere i am still disturbed of what just happened but it's fine she is crazy i'm not crazy uh, she was a ventriloquist hey buddy you want to be free all right let's see what we got pretty simple looking lock if i do say so myself just gonna that one up that one up are we good no i got that wrong that one needs to go up one that one needs to go up two that one needs to go up one all right boop 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 oh actually no those both have to go up by one boop 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 all right now let's do those other two two three three Oh, it's a four. Beautiful. Oh, I just picked every lock. Hmm. Thanks for the achievement. All right. You're free. Now let's see if you actually do something about it. Don, no way I can get past him without being noticed. Uh, um, dude, you're free. Oh, yes. At last, you came to your senses. My humble apologies, Emperor. Spare me your groveling, Englishman. Of course, you are right as ever, for you see, time is of the essence. The Royalists have risen again, and your darling Josephine needs you. Paris needs you. Mon amour. But the guards upstairs in reception stand in your way. Ha! They will pose no problem for the likes of me. Merci, Englishman. When I return to Les Tuileries, I shall make you a general. Oh, you are too kind, Emperor. Now go. Your freedom awaits. I am coming, Josephine. <laughs> uh, he went the wrong way. Do you notice he went to the storage room? Watson, over here. Holmes, what are you doing here? And where did you get that outfit? It is unimportant. I require your assistance. What is happening, Holmes? I need an explanation. It's quite simple. I created a distraction so that I could tell you something important, and in turn, I need you to acquire something important for me. How can you call any of this charade simple? Watson, we can discuss this later. Time is of the utmost importance. The kidnapped people may still be here. This is what I know so far. What? You really found all this on your own? Focus, Watson. I need you to find a key. It will be most unique. All the details are in my notes. Logic dictates that Gygax will keep it near her. Once acquired, you must get it to me. Perhaps the kitchen dumbwaiter could be of use. Holmes, I... I can't do this. I'm no spy. Yes, you can, Watson. You are unfailingly dependable. All right. Oh. Dr. Watson, visitors are not permitted back here. I am terribly sorry, Mr. Kuntz. After the war, my nerves, I, uh, I fled all that commotion. It is nothing. A patient attempted to escape. He will not get far. Now, if you would like to follow me. All right, we're playing Watson. So I'm about to say something a little um, scandalous, a little controversial. As much as I like Sherlock Holmes, I read the books, watch uh, some TV shows, the movies, and all this and that. I'm more of a Hercule Poirot person, but I get to Christie. I like him quite a bit more than Sherlock Holmes. 
Not saying I don't like Sherlock Holmes, but the only reason follow. to hang something this harrowing here would be to create another patient. Ha! <laughs> All right, let's do a Watson work. Bring your gun with you. Perhaps I should take this. For all I hope it won't be needed. Watson always carries his gun on him, hoping he never needs to use it. Did a child make these? Heidi. Okay. Oh yeah, you have ever wait, you can use the mine palace too? Maybe. You must acquire a key from me, Watson. Odds are it's around about two inches in diameter with the image of Elderwise flower. Patient Patient Gerda is informing me that Gygax keeps it close to her. Alright, let's go. Ooh, look at the birdies. A visitor? No, no, you shouldn't have come here. Hmm. Give it to me. No, I don't want to. Why not? Multiple personalities. Did you see my son? He's such a sweet boy. You must be the lady that uh, has a thing about the sun. <laughs> I want them to fly. She just likes the birdies. Miss? Too bad my parents had to leave so soon. I haven't seen them for months. Oh, she seems normal now. I don't want to guard block B tonight. That's a good sign. Patient room two. Hello. I'm struggling to remember something. It's something familiar. If only I could place it. I must think. Maybe if I write another poem, I will remember. Why does my mind play such tricks on me? Why does my mind play such tricks on me? Oh, beautiful alpine flower, whose heart I do miss so. You call to me while I don't see. How can I let you go? The storm cuts through my senses, make all my thoughts so blind. With no captain, I, might, I miss reason. Why did they truly find... What did they truly find? Cold and dark with grimy walls, roughly held like animals. Trapped yet free, why do I fall? Something squirms on the tip of my tongue. But what can it be? What did I forget? I don't know. Hey. This area is off limits. A patient has escaped. Uh, my sir, hey, monsieur. I need to leave immediately. All right. Oh, wait. I hear them scratching. Don't you hear it? No. Oh, wait. It's this way. Director's office. It's locked. Which honestly makes sense. Kitchen. Oh, she's busy humming. Nothing, nothing. Did you hear that a patient escaped? All the guards rushed off to find him? You don't say. Oh my. Scally thought it is. Um. Guess we'll go down. Oh my. Oh, we're here. Might as well look. Oh, this is the big. Aha. Uh -huh. Nope. A visitor from space, glowing meteor lands in Arkham. I hope you're finding your room comfortable, Dr. Watson. Oh, it is very nice, madam. I appreciate that. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Examination. Makes sense. I'm not allowed the examination room. Some things in this world are meant to be seen. For you. Administration. 
October 1879. A more serious treatment is necessary. My patient, my special patient Wolf, will be transmitted to patient room two on the ground floor. All other patients must be removed from my schedule and re reassigned to other specialists at the institute. This patient's mental state requires constant monitoring and immediate intervention to avoid undesirable consequences. December 1879, the unnecessary surgical procedures were successfully performed. Physi physical recovery is still in progress. Memory loss is increasing, but still not complete. A new obsession with writing has developed, probably as a side effect. January 1880, the patient's writing now mentions old names. Clear sign of partial memory recovery, unacceptable result. A second surgery is required, targeting both the frontal and temporal lobes. February 1880, surgery went well. The patient's memory does not persist for longer than a couple of minutes, although an obsession with writing lingers. Danger eliminated, daily monitoring. The guy writing the poems. Give me a second. The guy writing the poems. They mess with his brain. Cold and dark with grimy walls, roughly held like animals. Crap yet free, why do I fall? Animals. What rhymes with animals? Photograph seems recent. A commemorative photo album. Been a while since I've been in one of these. No, go away. I'm trying to think what the ending of that poem could be. Because they mess with him. Why does my mind play such tricks on me? Why does my mind play such tricks on me? They mess with you, man. They mess with you real good. Okay. We have to actually get in there. Nothing. I'm sad I got nothing. Can I brain or no? No, only Holmes can brain. Mm. We need a way to get in the middle. Oh, that's a lot of records. Yes, it is. Yeah. Um, guest room. And this is what I want. Ah, Dr. Watson. Just the man I wanted to see. Oh, hello. Professor, I'm surprised you're not trying to catch that SKP. Please, my time is far too valuable. I hope Nurse Kuntz has been taking good care of you. He has certainly kept me out of trouble. Professor, it is time for your appointment with your next patient, Mr. Wolf. Hey, Wolf can wait until tomorrow. I wish to speak with Dr. Watson. I don't do uh, anything stupid. Wish. You still see patients yourself, even as the director of this entire facility? Only the important ones. And yet I rarely get to pick the brain of a man like yourself. I think it is time we got to know each other. Oh dear, no. don't screw this I'm up, I'm afraid mate. there's not much to know. I'm just an average chap living a rather prosaic life these days. Dr. Watson, those of us who pursue knowledge are anything but average. Now, who are you? I'm a doctor. 
I'm a physician in search of a stimulating career. I have patients, yes, but admittedly, I'm more interested in the cutting edge of medical research. So when I read about the Black Eagle Vice and your work on the healing of minds, I simply had to learn more. I suppose my Edelweiss was always destined to attract other curious minds. But before we continue, I want you to understand one thing. A broken mind can never be truly healed. Ah, I see. So, what exactly do you do here? It is simple. If you cannot fix a person's nature, you must force them to forget it. Surely there are other methods of treatment. How naive. You remind me of a man I once knew, Professor Becker. But we do not speak of him. Yeah, anymore. they took care uh, of Colin. him. The former director here. One day he realized that Edelweiss had outgrown him and had to leave. Hey. Already, Doctor? I was simply admiring your office, Professor. Apologies. While I am pleased you appreciate its practicality and appearance, we were discussing bigger things. Was my conversation boring you? No, not at all. I, I merely... No, no. I understand full well. You're not seeking conversation. What yeah. do you mean? It is obvious. Your mind craves truth, but not in this form. Oh. You must witness a practical demonstration if you are to learn. I'm certainly intrigued. Would that be possible? Of course. I propose a journey between the jury of the human brain. You will not leave without oh, being no. enlightened. Kunz, take Dr. Watson back to the courtyard. Oh. Then tell the nurses to prepare the operation room and the girl with the doll. Yes, Professor. No, not that. Our preparations will take a little time. I will come for you soon, Doctor. Oh no! Oh, the doll lady's gonna go crazy because I gave her her doll back! Oh, that's not gonna go well! You are Mr. Wolf, am I right? Oh, hello! Who might you be? My name is Dr. John Watson. I wanted to talk with you, if you didn't mind. Ah, Doctor. I don't suppose you could help. I, I seem to have forgotten where I am. We're in the Black Edelweiss, Mr. Wolf. It's an asylum in Switzerland, and you are one of its most important patients. But why am I here? That's what I was about to ask you. I can't remember. Sorry, I, I can't remember anything. It's all right. You don't need to push. Try to relax. Let the thoughts come and go. Write my now, poetry. What comes to mind? Mr. Wolf? Oh, hello. Who might you be? We... we just went over this. I'm sorry, but I don't think we've met. We were just discussing this facility, the Black Edelweiss Asylum, and why you are here. That name does sound familiar. Holmes, the things I do for you... <laughs> Excuse me, who are you? And who's this Holmes fellow? Yeah. I am Dr. Watson, and Holmes is... well, you could call him my imaginary friend. That's just a little joke, don't mind me. But why am I here, Doctor? Am I sick? I'm sure I can take a look. Oh, yeah, you can take a look. Look at the giant scar on his head. Severe chemical birds faded with age. Alka's head last. Alright, we're looking there. Oh. Abuse of medicine. One side is paralyzed. That would explain why he was talking funny, like his one side of the mouth wouldn't move. Pers yeah. An adult man, okay. An adult man with two deep surgical scars, one on each side of the head. An old chemical burn on one of his hands. Mr. Wolf has some paralysis of his facial muscles, not most likely being the result of brain surgeries. Blue gray pig pigmentation spots on his skin are likely due to overuse of medications, considering containing silver nitrate. 
It appears his illness is a direct result of treatment he has received here at Black Edelweiss, or these symptoms are more likely caused by pre-existing. Yep, yeah, nope, 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 nope. He's ill. Dear Lord, what did Gygax do to you? Excuse me? Uh, who are you? Oh, n never mind. Yeah. Yep. We got that one situated. Yeah, because we read that one note. She screwed him up. Excuse me, who are you? I don't know why I keep doing this, expecting something different. Actually, I wonder. Sorry, what were we discussing? Give me a second, perhaps the sword will return. I feel like I'm forgetting something. I know it was important. I've lost my train of thought. Perhaps writing would get me back on track. I've lost my train of thought. Perhaps writing right. would get me back on track. By the way, I saw the key. Question is, can I get it? There's the kitchen. I hope everything is to your liking, Dr. Watson. It's a wonderful yes. I appreciate like that. Of course. They did tell me the way out in the courtyard, so I'm gonna wait out in the courtyard. Hey ma'am. Get out while you can. Okay. You're mean. That's rude. And I'm not. You're lying. If you happen to meet him, tell him I'm here. I still don't know if your child's real and if he's alive. If it's a miscarriage and you went crazy, I'm Try sorry. To fly away! Escape, my little ones! One of the patients there whispers to me all the time. He tells me such horrible things. I bet. The nurses don't believe me. No one helps me. When people shout, all I want to do is find a dark corner and hide. I can't bear it. Professor Gygax says I can return home as soon as I'm better. Okay. I miss him so much. Hey, kind of reflections. Professor Gygax will have much to tell you. Oh, we'll see. I got a feeling she's a bitch. A cold hearted, skiving, skinning, stupid, miserable bitch. Hmm. I honestly am at a dead end again. Watson's causing me a little difficulties here. There's not much I can do. Can I talk to you? I suppose it will be one less ungrateful mouth to feed if he dies out there. Wait, who? One time, it took them five days to find a person. Oh. They found him frozen in the snow. I heard his arm snapped right off. If anything else goes wrong tonight, we'll be all out of stuff. And there's the dumb waiter. Looks dusty but functional. Oh, we never use that. I think it connects somewhere downstairs. Oh, you'll be using it. Mm. Damn it. You? No one is allowed in or out. Professor Gygax's orders. Oh, no, no. Professor Gygax. I should resign, shouldn't I? This is all a bit much. Yeah, that guy has a conscience. Look at this guy. He has a conscience, everybody. Yes! Fly! Oh, fly far away from here. If I were a bird, you wouldn't see me waddling around. Use your wings. If I were a bird, you wouldn't see me waddling around. Hmm. Use your wings. Shh, a stranger. We must be quiet. Yes. He's not real. He's not real. Don't be quiet. If you linger too long, the professor will keep you forever. 
No one escapes the Edelweiss. No one. No one escapes the Edelweiss. No one. Okay. I miss him so much. You're done talking. I just want the scratching to stop. Why won't they make the scratching stop? Why won't they make the scratching stop? I don't think they hear the scratching. Uh, what else is there for... Wait, can I do brain? I can do brain! Alright, so first here... Becker's wolf? Oh my god! Becker's wolf. The photo. No, 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 no. The other photo. Becker's wolf. Oh, God. As soon as I saw that, I just put the pieces together. Wolf is actually Professor Becker, the previous director of the Black Eloise. He now suffers from severe memory issues. But still retains the ability to write. How to lure Gygax out of our office. We need. The very important. Oh, wait, wait, no, 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 no. I accidentally backed out. My bad. We need the very important patient. Letter. No. Okay. Use Becker to strike. Okay. If Becker can still write, perhaps he can get Gygax's attention with a letter. Oh, okay. All right. Okay, I'm like, did she kill Becker? No, she ruined his brain. For the rest of his life, he will never be the same. And that is sad. Okay, I'm putting pieces together, everybody. Yeah. I'm making progress. Oh man, I really hope I won't get this guy in trouble. He's all right. Wrong place. That's the administration's room. Okay, that's the gas, so he should be right here. Now that's the kitchen. I might have been right. Never mind. Patient room two. Hello again. You won't remember me, but we've met before. I am Dr. John Watson, and you are Professor Becker. You were the previous director of this facility, the Black Eagle Vice. Professor, really? Actually, that name does sound familiar. Wait, wait, let me write it down. I try to recall memories through writing, but they always feel just out of reach. As a matter of fact, I have more for you to jot down. Oh, yes, yes, please, anything. Professor Gygax did this to you. She made you forget everything, even who you are. But we will play a trick on her. We will write a letter so that she learns her lesson. Put down what I dictate. Dear Professor Gygax, I bitterly regret that I let my beautiful alpine flower fall under your influence. I see now that you never deserve to sit as the director of the Black Edelweiss. You will be brought to justice and the world will know your cruelty. And by the time you make it to my cell, the police will already know the truth of how you came to be director of this asylum. Signed, Professor Becker. There, it's done. Now. Hold on a minute. Who are you? My name is John Watson. I'm a doctor from London, a veteran of Afghanistan, and I wish to be a writer, though deep down I fear I lack the talent. And presently I'm risking my life to help my brilliant detective flatmate in the pursuit of a cult of kidnappers, even as I fear it may destroy him. I'm tired and hungry, and I have not had a good bath in weeks, and yet despite it all, I... I feel alive. Hmm. Any more questions? Good heavens, sir. You're as mad as they come. Oh. <laughs> we got the letter. Uh, 
Oh man, please don't do brain surgery on him. This guy doesn't deserve to die. One of the patients asked me to deliver this note. It's for Professor Gygax. Thank you, Doctor. Leave it with me. Yep. A letter for you. Unbelievable. Kunz, with me. Unbelievable. Fuck, boy. E. There's six things. Start looking. Oh. Oh. Now there's five things. Dear Professor, we recently took possession of a collection of rare gems on behalf of a mutual acquaintance. The gems have now been sold to Louisiana Jewelers, who made several offers for exceeding our expert's estimate of the stone's value. The final sale price agreed upon for the 11 gems was 12,550 Swiss francs. Our client has instructed that you receive two thirds of this sum transferred to your solicitor as per usual. As always, our discretion is assured and we look forward to continue uh, to continued business with you and the illustrations patron. Here sincerely, Gregory Scott, representative of the EW Great Banking House, New Orleans, USA. Interesting. I mean, that's what I want, so I'm gonna keep looking. At least I don't think I'm timed. Because that is what I want. Close, but I don't think this is the key. Oh, I thought mm -hmm. that was the this key. This is too small to be what Holmes asked for. Oh, well, never mind. You play me the fool. That? An Edelweiss relief about two inches in diameter. This must be what Holmes was after. Okay, we got it. Yeah, Dali. December 8, uh, 1879. It has been three months since I took over Elderwise from Becker. Not all my colleagues approved of the rule changes, so I am now the only professor here. No matter how, no matter the hiring of several strong nurses will solve the personal shortage. Personnel shortage. At last, my work flourished without the impairment of lesser minds. March 1880. The first payment has arrived from R. From R, our deal does pose risks, but the possibilities are endless if he is true to his word. May 1880, first shipment of the Chosen Ones has arrived. R has sent the vast selection of broken mines. The work ahead will be difficult, but undoubtedly useful. What? Nothing special about this. Oh. Nope, 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 nope. Make sure I have everything in this room before I go. I think we're good. We have the special key. One sec, I gotta take a quick break. All right, I'm back for my break. All right, let's go deliver the metal key. Oh, even she's gone. Look at that. Back to Holmes. That's... Oh.
more levels showed up. Black Eldoise Secrets. No going back. Oh, this is a classroom? And the mash and everything. Oh. A wax cylinder. There is something recorded on it. The writing is mostly gone. Phonetic symbols, perhaps. I have no idea. I take it we have more. No, I actually don't have any more fine things. Wax cylinder. All right. We have to find something to play the wax cylinder on. Let's go. Oh, they're broken. These people are broken. They're gone. Looks as. Oh. Uh, notebook Professor Gygax. The new method at the last at last started to show process. The success rate is four out of ten, and the failures are not responding to any external stimuli. Nevertheless, the phonetic system can be declared an undeniable success. Regardless of the native languages or place of origin, individuals can learn to speak the chant without flaw. They learn quickly and fluently, despite lacking all mental atomity. Uh, uh, Tom, blah, blah, blah. Regrettably, one of the chosen continues to resist. Isolation and deprivation resulted in a strengthening of their disobedience. Negotiation only in, uh, ignited anger, and even after the direct removal of the frontal and temporal lobes, it seemed all that was left was an initiate desire to resist. Innate res desire to resist. This chosen one cannot be allowed to pollute the minds of the others. The conclusion is inescapable. They cannot continue to live. I will see they are sent to the well. Been recently used. Well, immediately you. Professor, trust my guide. The light of the... Uh, <laughs> the light of the abyss. He shall lighten our chosen ones. Make sure he is present and that our chosen utter nothing but the sacred words. And lo, the trace will begin, and we will be an inch closer to the universe beyond. Your work is essential, as many of our flock do not speak our language, and time is of the essence. It will be the best. It will be best to work in groups, performing at least one seance per day per week. Of course, the most skeptical members will have to be tamed by our hands. In the meantime, my work continues on a physical method to maintain the trace of state through the emitted light waves of K K Kaleid lenses. Finally, my men in New Orleans will contact you regarding the new shipment of Chosen. Make room for them as you've done before. R. He? He? Yeah. The bank has the gems. My master has ordered me to send the first shipment to, of the chosen. They will arrive within two weeks. Not fail us. A. Hmm. This is an elevator. Oh, oh the spell. Dear. God, is that body parts? Uh... Judging by the remnants of blood and flesh, these instruments were used for dismemberment. Utterly inhuman. Ugh. Yeah, they took care of everyone who didn't fall in line and have their mind wiped completely with the chance and they took care of them by feeding the well oh wait 
Oh. Dynamo machine. Provides electrical stimulation for the person in the chair. Full grain leather straps. Impossible to escape. Well, now that we uh, see it. And... No. A very professional brain dissection. A very professional brain dissection. Yeah, can't use it here. of the abyss is the light from the abyss. Uh, get out of my head. Well, um... Whoops. Didn't mean for that to happen. Holmes, you sure don't want to sit down? You could use a seat. A hydraulic elevator? How ingenious. Watson? Holmes, what are you still doing here? Still? I was trying to find more information. Did you think I was just going to sit in my room twiddling my thumbs? I only asked you to find the key. I had everything else under control. Says the man who looks like he saw a ghost. Yeah. I'm fine, Watson. You're hardly fine. You reek of congealed blood and chemicals. What did you see down there? Never mind me. Where's Gygax? I'm afraid she's over there. And I found her like that when I entered. Wait, what oh, the my word? What? <sighs> she was our biggest lead. Okay, that's another me. wrinkle in our investigation. What do we do now, Holmes? Hush. Let me think. Um. Not gonna lie. Was not expecting her to be dead. Well, someone stabbed her in the eye. The pencil is buried deep all the way to the brain. Instant death. Deserves it. No traces of blood on her clothes. Actually, got on her white I'm sorry, doesn't deserves it. She deserves worse. What she did to these people. The patients here wear the same robes. Hmm. Nope, not time. Uh. She went after the crazy chick who I gave the doll to. Heidi, how did she, it, end up here? We'd better inform the local police about this. You're right, Watson. But first, we need to determine where our case goes next. All right, everyone, time to use thinking. Oh, well, let's see if Heidi has any info on her. No. All right, let's do it. Let's think. Where to go next? 
We need three greens. New Orleans. New Orleans. No. 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 New Orleans! Several pieces of evidence now point to New Orleans. It appears the kidnappers have enlisted the services of Banking House of E.W. Gray. Got it. New Orleans, Watson. We've got what we needed, Watson. This conspiracy reaches further than we thought. I don't suppose you've ever been to New Orleans? You are joking. I seldom <laughs> do. Let's go. Yeah. There's no time to waste. Every time he has an encounter with that thing, is he gets facial hair. Chapter 3 completed. Got the achievement. There is nothing in this world that cannot be explained with logic and reason. Nothing in this world. Holmes? Hmm? You seem troubled. I am not troubled, Watson. I am preoccupied. That place was awful. Inhumane. It would be natural to experience some feelings of shock or fear. Men reduced to gibbering imbeciles, numb beyond recognition, powerless to help themselves. When a doctor does go wrong, they are the first of criminals. They have the nerve and they have the knowledge. That woman did not deserve the title. Such casual cruelty for such selfish aims. Yeah. I knew another man like that once. He treated my mother, perhaps even killed her, depending on who you ask. My sincere condolences. In the end, she was just a shadow of herself. The outline of a person I recognized, but lacking all else, she was pushed until she cracked. Should you see me cracking, John? I must ask you to intervene. Nothing compels us to pursue this matter further, Sherlock. We can return to London, report what we have discovered, let more capable hands take over. Alas, there are no such hands. Were we to abandon our quest now, I fear no other would succeed in our stead. We know nothing of what awaits, what dangers lurk in the darkness. Nonsense. We draw nearer to New Orleans with every passing minute, and thus closer to the answers we seek. Those answers, for all their perversity and improbability, will nevertheless be the work of men. And that is a work I have studied well. So be it. I absolutely love the interaction between Watson and Sherlock. I a diligent author, but if I may make one request. Kindly omit my mother and her suffering from your tale. Of course. Thank you, John. I love these two. I love the way they're interacting. I love the story that's going on right now. Ah. Uh. Oh. We walk from New Orleans. Go get me some gumba. The Outsiders. Chapter 4. New Orleans. I am doing a terrible New Orleans accent. <laughs> it's not New oh, Orleans. Holmes. After our trip to Nippy, Switzerland, I can certainly use some of this New World heat. Do not get carried away, Watson. What we could certainly use are answers to my questions. I know. But you look exhausted. Why don't we find the hotel first? We shall rest when our investigation is over and not a moment sooner. Makes I shall sense. ask you to handle our bags while I search for the bank. Ah. As you wish. Oi! Stop it, you! Our luggage! Good lord, what have you done? That's my stuff. I'm sorry, mister. It, it was an accident. Alright, uh... You know what? Let's check out the new outfits and then we'll call it. We got new... Why? Never mind. We are going to call it. And next time we will continue with New Orleans. I'm going to say this. I haven't played a puzzle game like this in a long time. I'm more of an RPG action game guy with some shooters here and there. Have the puzzle game. But man, this is pretty darn good. On top of that, I can tell it's short because every chapter is about two hours. I have yet to even hit two hours and I've beaten this chapter. 
But yeah, I will see you next time. But until then, bye-bye.